What's going on everyone? I'm Sile Well, and today we'll be talking about Capital Cities and the Home Instance. The Capital Cities and Guild Wars 2 look amazing and each have eye popping features. In most of the modes that I have played, I didn't get to see cities of another race because they were scattered across the world and there was no way for a low level character to get to them without running a marathon. In Guild Wars 2, all you have to do is complete your character's tutorial and then you can travel to any city using the Asuran portals located in all of the major cities. ArenaNet didn't want to force family and friends into playing the same race, or make them wait a certain amount of levels before meeting up. The home instance section will branch off of last week's episode, because it is influenced by your personal storyline and the decisions you make throughout the game. Holbrock is the capital city of the Norn. Although the Norn are not people of cities, they all come to Holbrock to trade, meet, and most of all, drink. Since the Norn prefer to live in the wilderness, only a few have made Holbrock their permanent home. Holbrock is dominated by five great structures, including the Great Lodge, the Wolf Lodge, the Bear Lodge, the Raven Lodge, and the Snow Leopard Lodge. The Great Lodge is Nut's domain, and on the upper levels of this lodge, one will find the greatest heroes of the Norn. A Norn's character's home instance is found in Hunter's Hearth, which is also found in the upper levels of the Great Lodge. What else would be more fitting to a Silvari than a tree? The Grove is the capital city of the Silvari, which oversees the Tarnished Coast, and even towers over the highest mountains. The Grove is a multi-level, verdant, organic city. The roots and branches of the tree form broad terraces, where other plants have grown and been spun into homes and buildings. Some Silvari have lived their entire lives beneath the Pale Tree, but most choose to adventure out into the world. A Silvari's player's home instance will be a special garden in the city. After they overthrew the Flame Legion, the Char built the Black Citadel on the human ruins of Rin. The Iron Legion is officially in charge of the city, but the Blood and Ash Legions both have a major presence. Since the Iron Legion is the most technologically skilled of them all, its city is a vast foundry and center of industry. A Char's home instance is the Hero's Canton, which are the barracks of the Citadel. Divinity's Reach is the capital city for the humans. Humans from across the land have poured into Divinity's Reach, creating a beautiful city that is ruled by Queen Jenna. It is located on a hill, giving it a strong tactical advantage against intruders. The city is divided into six districts, which are separated by elevated walls that connect the outer walls to the central plaza. A human's home instance is the Salma district, which is one of the six sections in Divinity's Reach. I decided to save the best capital city for last, Radisum. The Asuras reside in Radisum, which is a huge floating cube riddled with interior passages, and its upper reaches are divided into smaller cubes. It is the home to the colleges of Statics, Dynamics, and Synergetics. These colleges will provide labs to those that don't have one, and an Asaurus player home instance will be a personal lab, which are in the highest locations of Radisum. As most of you know by now, every player is given a part of their capital city, which is called their home instance. This place can be personalized by the character and it will update automatically as the character progresses through their personal storyline. NPCs you save along your journey, and even merchants might be added to your personal instance. Two players of the same race will quickly have a different home instance layout because of the choices they made. A player will even have to make choices within the personal instance. A human, for example, will have to decide to keep an orphanage or a hospital, and whichever one they don't choose will have crying NPCs outside of it. If your party enters a home instance, they will go to the party's leader's home instance, so every single player can show their accomplishments to their friends. I can't explain how happy I am about the Asuran portals. Yes, this does have something to do with them being my favorite race, but it's mainly their awesome running animations. I can't tell you how many times Thies and I were creating characters and had to be the same race, which also meant we were profession restricted. Or we ended up choosing different races and you know, only had to run for about 45 minutes to meet up with each other. Arena Knight gets it, they aren't making players waste time on meaningless tasks. The home instance feature is one of those single player RPG aspects that ArenaNet is bringing into the MMO world. It is going to be really interesting to look at other players home instances and see how they are different from my own. 
That's it for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button below and to subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all next week.